Hello again chaps and chapettes, how are we all doing? It's lovely to see you all again as always. We're just having a brief conversation with you guys before I head out for the day about something that happened yesterday afternoon. I've only just found out about this in the last 10-15 minutes over on X uh, from various accounts on there like Tommy Robinson, Turning Point UK. There has been a stabbing in Kent of an army officer outside his barracks who was attacked, shall we say, over 70 times in the face and in the chest and he remains in critical condition. I'm sorry to interrupt the video midway through guys, uh, I just wanted to make a small edit. Uh, the sound of the attack was caught on someone's doorbell camera. I'll include it in this video. It's not very pleasant to listen to, obviously, someone being massacred in the middle of the street. But if you want to listen to it and you want to watch it, then please do feel free. Carry on watching. If you don't, skip to this time here and there. Uh, yeah, you just forego the whole thing. Like I say, it's not very nice to listen to. I wouldn't really recommend you watch it, but I'll include it anyway on a just-in-case basis. See you in a bit. Now, the police have kept the perpetrator anonymous, of course they have, but you can quite clearly see from the pictures that have been provided, you can see the chap's hands, and yeah, you can probably guess the type of person this person is and why he wanted to attack a British Army officer. Now, of course, the police are playing the same card that they always tend to play when heinous acts like this are played out. Can you guess what card that is? Yes, precisely. Mental health. I think that is absolutely bollocks. I don't mind admitting I've had mental health things in my past. I've had about a depression, etc., anxiety attacks, that sort of a thing. But I moved through them. I didn't go around wanting to stab people in the middle of the street, butcher them in front of children, women, families, etc. People going past in cars, going about their everyday life, seeing someone being massacred on the floor. No, I went to the doctor and I fought through my demons just like everybody else. The mental health card is an absolute disgusting excuse, a horrible get out clause because you can't be asked with the aggro of actually telling the people of what actually happened and what the motives actually fucking were. It doesn't take a genius to know why on earth squaddies of all people are being attacked on British streets by certain individuals. You'll see by the, the pictures I put up on my screen, you know exactly the type of person this is and the police are terrified to admit it because they don't want to be called a racist or Islamophobic or some other fucking bullshit. It's an absolute disgrace. I warned you last night guys, terrible things are on the horizon. These, occurrence are these occurrences are becoming more and more and more frequent and one day, just one single day, it might just be you on the end of one of these fucking psychopaths. Be very careful, be very vigilant, keep one eye over your shoulder at all times. Do not trust anyone. It is imperative. I had to bring this to you guys, I'm sorry. Um, I think it would be a disservice to the man who was critically injured by this fucking psychopath and it'd be a disservice to our royal, to our, uh, excuse me, to our armed forces as a whole. So yeah, there we have it guys. A very horrible video subject, but it has to be done. When these psychopaths are kept anonymous, we have to try and weed out who they actually are and what their motives actually are. We all know, but yeah, let's just try and dig a little deeper anyway. Anyway, that's me lot guys, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, and I hope for a speedy recovery for this army officer.